Hi guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call Mr. M. Let's mark up your math skills today. This video is about the different types of discontinuity, which are removable, essential, and infinite. But how do we know if a function is not continuous? A function is discontinuous if there are gaps or breaks in its graph. Let's start our discussion with removable discontinuity. A removable discontinuity is characterized by the presence of a hole in the graph of the function. However, this hole can be removed by redefining the function. Let me give you some examples. Let's analyze the graph of the function x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. The domain of this function is all real numbers except negative 3. For this example, the limit of the function exists but the value of the function does not exist if x is equal to negative 3. This actually makes the graph discontinuous at x is equal to negative 3. As long as the limit of the function exists, the hole which makes it discontinuous can be removed by redefining the function. For this example, we can redefine the function at x is equal to negative 3 to remove the hole and to make the function continuous at x is equal to negative 3. For this example, the hole occurs when 1 is directly substituted to the function since it results to 0 over 0 or indeterminate form. Since the limit of the function still exists as x approaches 1, the hole can be removed by redefining the function at x is equal to 1, which makes the function continuous at x is equal to 1. For the second type, we have essential discontinuity, which happens when the graph of the function stops at one point and seems to jump at another point. In this case, the limit of the function as x approaches a does not exist. So for the function x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1, and x minus 2 if x is less than 1, the right-hand limit is equal to 3 while the left-hand limit is equal to negative 1. Since the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit, the limit does not exist. This makes the graph discontinuous at x is equal to 1. And lastly, we have infinite discontinuity, which happens when at least one of the two limits, the left hand or the right hand, is infinite. For this example, the limit of this function as x approaches 2 from the right is negative infinity, while the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is positive infinity. This makes the graph discontinuous at x is equal to 2, which is the asymptote of the graph or the x value that will make the denominator equal to zero. Let me show you a flowchart that can help you identify whether a function is continuous or not at the given point c. Take note that the function is given to be defined on an open interval containing c. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned something today. See you on my next video.